Hi everyone, Wayne from the Autodesk CAM team, back with more tips on CAM simulation using the solid functionality to visualize your toolpath and prevent costly collisions at the machine. Let's simulate these toolpaths before posting any code. Highlighting the setup folder will select all toolpaths underneath. Right click, choose simulate. You can use the marking menu to start simulating our toolpaths right on our part. Let's enable the stock simulation function. Let's simplify our view by changing the toolpath visualization mode from all toolpaths to tail. If our holder is in the way, we can change our tool display. We can show only the flute length or make it transparent so we can see the toolpath right through the tool. If you have large parts with lots of toolpaths or maybe a slow graphics card, you can change the fast mode. Colorization options, for instance, you can see tool direction changes, or even if you're doing a climb cut versus conventional. Let's change the visualization quality from low to extreme. So even in fast mode, we can get the better quality graphics. We can speed up the toolpath using the speed and direction bar, and even play our toolpath backwards. Now on our simulate dialog box, we have three tabs, display, info and statistics. Let's take a closer look at the info tab. Here we have live position data, spindle speed, feed rate, movement, the current operation, the tool being used, and the estimated cycle time for this operation. Verification data like volume and distance. Here it's telling us we have some collisions. We'll have to revisit our setup or tool pass. And now on the statistics tab, we have the estimated machining time, the machining distance, the operations and tool changes for the entire program. Now I'm gonna switch back over to standard mode to enable functions like transparent stock and also stop on collision, which enables the simulation functionality to warn us if our tool holder will clash with stock, the part or our fixture, which is what happened in this case, my tool holder clashed with my part. You can see the marker in the timeline providing important feedback about the collision. In this case, I mistype a decimal point making my drill tip through bottom one inch instead of a tenth of an inch. Finding this simple error in simulation saved my drill, my drill chuck, my part, and my vise. You'll find the same simple, easy to use simulation integrated completely in our HSM works, Inventor HSM, and Fusion 360 cam.